Hello, sewing people of the internet. If you think I look different, you're imagining things. This is what I've always looked like. Uh, the purpose of today's video is primarily a shameless plug for my affiliate link to Ripstop by the Roll because they're having a big sale. Um, and if you use my affiliate link to make purchases, then I will make a fortune. So, no, not really, but uh, I do get a little bit of kickback at no cost to you if you use that link. Uh, there you have a sale going on through next Friday, if you're watching this in real time, uh, November 5th at 11.59 uh, p.m. is when it ends, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So, uh, you might want to go check that out. And I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to do a test project with my custom print that I got from them. Uh, they have a, a program called Outdoor Ink where they can custom print a lot of their fabrics with your original design or a whole library of designs they have. This is a print from a Dutch pour painting that I did. I intend to make some projects with it, but I figured I haven't used this fabric before. This is 600D Airwave fabric. So let's make a little pouch and see how it behaves. I'm using my Sailrite Ultrafeed LS Z1 to sew this project. A uh, quick tip, you can use the presser foot of the sewing machine to hold fabric in place while you manipulate it or cut it. I found this uh, material slide cuts very, very easily. It felt a lot like Dacron uh, sailcloth to me. If you want to see a project I did with Dacron, if you've never worked with it, uh, I'll put a link to a tote bag that I made out of a sail. I used some Milspec 4088 webbing to make a couple of zipper pull tabs, and I'm just singeing those with a lighter so they don't fray. Then I separated the zipper. I'm using YKK Continuous Coil number no. 5 zipper that I also got from Ripstop by the Roll. Since I'm using a zigzag machine, I uh, used the needle positioner to put the needle in the leftmost position so that the needle would be a little bit closer to the zipper tooth that's helpful with a wider foot that's on this machine. And I decided that the longest stitch length was a little bit too long so I just shortened it up a little bit. And then I just flipped it over to top stitch that side of the zipper. And I repeated the steps for the other side of the zipper. Just by eye, I decided to make the notches for this bag one and a half inches. And so I marked one and a half inches in from the folded edge and two inches up from the open end because that, that end's gonna get a half inch seam on it. So that'll get us the one and a half inch square notches.
So that's just a quick zipper pouch. Uh, I like doing stuff like this if I'm working with a material that I haven't used before. Uh, it just gives me a chance to actually work with it and see how it behaves, how it folds and creases and stuff. One thing about this particular bag design is I haven't figured out a good way to finish the inside seams or put a liner in it that's easy to do. Uh, if you have some tips about that, feel free to post them in the comment section below. At some point I'd like to do a detailed tutorial on making a pouch like this, but there's still some details I'm not super sure about. In any event, this 600D Airwave seems like it doesn't fray uh, very much, so um, I'll see. I'll use this pouch for a while and see if it's okay to leave the raw edges. I don't like leaving raw edges anyway, but you know, if you're going to, it's better to do it with the fabric that isn't going to be compromised by it. Anyway, I hope you got something out of that. Make sure you check out Ripstop by the Roll at the link below. Uh, if you're watching this in real time, again, their big moving sale is going on until November 5th, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But even if you're watching this years into the future, they're a great source for a bunch of technical fabrics and their offerings just keep growing. So definitely check them out. If you like what I'm doing here, Clicking like always helps. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Leave questions and comments below. And thank you so much for being part of this. See you next time. Mm -hmm.